Join us in the unboxing of Too Many Bones. In preparation for today's unboxing video, I have various sharp implements, an X-Acto knife, ooh, gotta be careful with that, just in case to prepare myself and make sure I don't damage any components. I'm gonna take my time and just enjoy my first Kickstarter unboxing. This is actually the first game that I backed on Kickstarter and gotten it. I've already known that they have very good customer service. I'm just glad for them that they're able to do things with order and purpose in spite of a number of other things that have happened in their most recent Splice and Dice campaign that they're trying to rectify. They deserve all the support they get and I'm just happy to get my product. But maybe I should wait until I actually open it up and see if it got delivered properly. The box which is right behind me, felt a little light, felt a little empty. I'm not sure if it had all the perfect packaging that I would have liked in it. So there might be a little rattle room, there might be a little bit of dings or dents, but I'm not exactly sure. So without further ado, let's get this behemoth on the table. All right, where did I put that thing? Okay. Here it is. I hope they left this big box at my door just the other day, three days ago, I think, and I've just been waiting and dying to open this thing. But first, of course, I could not leave you all out, and here we are at an unboxing video for Too Many Bones. So let's go ahead and open up the outer shell of this box. Let's split it right down the middle. Make sure you have a good angle of that. Here we go. As you can see, like, plenty of corner dings right there. We're not really inspecting the box, but we're inspecting too many bones. So the outer shell, I mean, it's not of that much consequence. But this part actually came undone on this on this part of the box. So it was, they were pretty rough throwing this one around. And you can see almost every single corner of this box has been dinged or dented in some way. So let's just hope that the precious cargo is still okay in there. So you okay? All right. So let's just split it right down the middle. Alright, here we go. Starting from the bottom, probably not the best way to do things. Alright. We broke it through the first line of defense. And okay, bubble wrap. It's crazy, like, I'm a 5'8", and this box is... Well, we have a ruler for this, I suppose. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? It's like 10 inches, maybe a little bit more than a foot in length. Perhaps this ruler is just wrong, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's get this out of the way. Oh. They don't even pop if you squeeze them. I'm so disappointed. And there we have it. Too many bones in the flesh. It's a lot larger than I expected. Most board games are a lot larger than I ever anticipated them to actually be. And so this is massive. Let me turn it around so we can actually appreciate its full board. From just from first glance, it looks like the corners are okay. This one got a little, no, no, it's everything. Everything looks really good. This bubble wrap was very effective. Air Plus Storo Pack, props to you on protecting my game. Let's get too many bones. Whoa, this thing is huge. Let's put it right there. And of course, oh wow. And this is, this is incredibly dense for undercoat. Put these a little bit farther back so you can appreciate those a little bit more. Right there. Ooh. Anyway, so I am super excited by both of these games. We're gonna play through all of them. I'm gonna get some good footage and do some playthroughs on this. Probably not live streaming, maybe a little live streaming after I complete the playthroughs, or maybe just to even understand the rules so you all can correct me on that. But then eventually we're gonna do a full playthrough and we're gonna save Undertow. Oh man, this thing is so heavy. It's just, oh man, I just got really weak lately. But this thing is both really beautiful. I love the saturated colors on that. Um, as you can see right there, I admire the heft. I'm kind of disappointed that I'm saving this for last because it is chronologically after the main campaign of Too Many Bones, but I really like the characters, which is, you know, Dusker, Dusk, Duster, Duster, who is like the rogue class, and then Minstrel, or what is it, Lyric, Bard? She's a bard. I, I forget her name. Was it Treble Clef or something? Anyway, <laughs> really excited about this. I've only watched a couple playthrough videos. I, I was kind of skeptical at first glance regarding them, but oh, man, I'm just getting really excited. This, there's so much packed into this. I did not get the premium chips. I just went simple, main campaign, undertow, save some money on the uh, package deal. So oh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll just save this, but let's just do a complete unboxing. Oh, my forearms. And then we have too many bones. This one is actually lighter than Undertow, which is surprising. I can't even. <laughs> it must be at least 15 pounds. So here's too many bones. Oh, wow. 
incredible, incredible size. And ooh, they even left us a little sticky note on the back. Let's do a quick corner check. Um, all corners on this one are good. And I looked at undertow and these are all good. So there's really nothing to complain about so far. They've done a great job. Oh, there's a little break in the plastic right here. No scratching, no nothing. Maybe it was just me handling it. I'm just super impressed right now and I am just ready to mess it all up and play it on the table. I guess we can start with this little break in the plastic. It's like taking off a sunburn or something or like a, it's like ripping off skin or something. Wow. Oh man, now the protective seal is off and I'm a little scared. I do not want to ruin it. Ruin the glory of this game. Plastic came off very easily. Look at that ASMR feeling. And um, here we go, too many bones. I just want to admire the art a little bit. Got tantrum on the back, having a tantrum. Welcome to Daylora land, cowering in fear of a lawless melting pot of evil known as the Iban. That's, that's not good. I actually know a couple friends who are Iban, but spelled differently, and in Malaysia. You and your companions are gearlocks from deep wood and have lost your... Oh, gearlocks into the deep wood, and have lost your home and many kin to this foe. Their latest invasion has struck at the very heart of the forest, and the gearlock council has finally decided to strike back. All right, I love the art on the side right there with the um, the monsters. Very minimal. We got good old bomber on the side. Let's switch to the overhead view and um, see us lift the cover on this beast. So here we go. Oh, come on. Oh man, you just feel it creaking. Let me try the other corners. It's just lock tight. I kind of really like the suction because you know it's just packed so tight. The quality is so good. No dings, no problems, no scratches. Oof. Oh, there it is. Too many bones, a dice filled RPG. Ooh, my goodness, and look at that. That's just an amazing cover. I didn't even expect that at all. Very coarse, very beautiful. I had no idea that that was even in the cover. Maybe they just added that with the recent edition, but that is beautiful. I love that so much. Um, and that's the front view, so you can just, it just pulls you straight into Daylor. But let's just put that to the side right there as a backdrop. And now we're here at Too Many Bones, and oh, wow, it just has that factory new smell. Really beautiful. Um, here we go, some products by Chip Theory Games, and of course, there are many, many expansions. And I decided to wait on the expansions for now just because there's plenty of time ahead and I just want to experience this game as it is. And of course all the beautiful die. They're actually a little bit smaller than I thought but because a lot of videos haven't really zoomed in. But you can go ahead and look in. I'll zoom in a little bit. And yeah, that looks really good. Here's just the, the beginning book. Uh, with all the rules. Oh man, the imagery and the pictures are really good. I love the detail work on the faces right there. Good to zoom out. Like just watching it through videos, you don't really fully understand the detail in each of these images. I'm just going to try and capture that a little bit. And I love the art. I, I was kind of impartial to the art. It just felt a little gross for me at first because they're doing like this new kind of race of gear locks, which are these kind of like, they're kind of like these hobbit goblins. And so it goes through all the rules. It's so saturated. The colors are so much richer. I believe they talked about trying to re rework all the colors and to make sure the uh, text really popped on this one. And I think they've really accomplished something great right here. And the way that it all just draws you in with the colors and the saturation just really make me just want to pour over this rule book and really just make me want to read it for once. Um, the text is very clear cut. Not my favorite typeface to be sure, but hey, I can't complain at all. Um, yeah, so beautiful, beautiful rule book. I'm going to be reading all of this for sure to be ready for the first playthrough and live stream of this game as I'm going to be stumbling through the rules. And let's put that to the side as well. And now we're moving on to the core things of this game, which include, let me tilt down the camera. Everything's protected well. I don't see any blemish anywhere in this game from beginning to end and I believe it's going to stay that way from what I've heard. So here we go, they even have nice finger slots to pull out these dice trays. Each dice tray corresponds to one of the major characters obviously and so this one looks like it belongs to uh, Boomer. I mean you can see some grenades and some explosions on the side. Really nice. Let me just kind of get, get a feel for these game or for these tokens. Man, just smells so fresh. It just like doesn't even have a smell. It just feels sterile and beautiful. And let's go ahead and just roll some dice. <laughs> just because I feel like it. Like it, just classic um, little things. Oh, I didn't even know. Are they printed? I thought they were stickers actually, but no, they're actually part of the dice face itself. So they must have just like um, printed it on. 
Oh, that's so much better than what I actually expected. I expected them to actually be able to peel off at any moment. I don't even, they're just, they feel so pure. They have my fingerprints on them now. So let's just see what the first roll of this game is. Here we go. All right, so our first roll of the game is a four, a two, a one, and a one. That doesn't mean anything, but I just did that for fun. Okay, man, everything I do to this game, I just get super nervous about now because it's just so exceptional, like a, like a precious newborn. And we have, I believe this is Tantrum. You can see some axes in the corner right there and some other anger tokens and whatnot. Beautiful, beautifully done. Um, I don't feel like I'm missing anything in particular. I guess I'm just inspecting to make sure I have the dice trays for every character right now. And so can we actually remove this or do we have to take this out? So we have to take this out. Another plastic cover. Let's put that on the side lightly for now. And we move on to some of the other trays. It's kind of like a big box puzzle. And I'm gonna try and keep everything together on the side over here so I don't get too confuzzled. Here we go, we have additional thingies. Um, ooh, it's just creaking. It's like this box is speaking to me. What is this actually? I don't actually know what this is. All right, so this is, must be the travel marker. Additional die, these must track initiative for each character. So those look all good. Am I missing anything from there? I don't think so. That should be fine. And then we have a bunch of, I suppose, different status ailment die, dice that can be used and uh, your basic attack and defense die. So awesome. Ooh, look at that. It's like a deck box. I used to have these for like Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day. Oh, beautiful. Unwrapped. And what are these? Too Many Bones Encounter Cover Cards. They look nice, let's um, exacto them. Okay, no spoilers, no spoilers for me. So let's go ahead and take out our sing. These exacto knives are the best knives. And you can just hear that crackle. I hope you enjoy uh, the high definition opening of this. Oh, crack. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wish I had the skills of an ASMR artist, but I do not. Ooh, these feel very nice. So I believe these are PVC cards, or at least that's what I've heard. So these will last forever. Oh man, they just smell so good. Maybe I'm just a weirdo, but I love the smell of new things. I don't know about you all. The encounter cover card, that's very cool. Same art as the box back there. Trove loot, wonderful unlockable things. And then we have, of course, the day counter cards and loot, generic loot. And so we'll just slip that carefully back into the box from whence it came right there all right beautiful i just like how everything protects everything and this game just feels indestructible in general so i kind of understand why it was such a premium to um to get this game here we have more things oh more trove loot okay i didn't realize that there's even more stuff in here so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up it feels like christmas feels like my birthday already um, for all you who care, <laughs> birthday's November 12th. Alrighty, beautiful. Trove loot, trove loot, trove loot, trove loot. And I'm just gonna try and keep this all secret. And then of course on the other side we have encounter cards. And are those event cards? Special encounter cards? Hmm, not exactly sure what these are. Alright, and oh, there we have the bosses. Hmm, we'll try and keep those secret for now. But it looks like there are plenty of things to uncover in this world. And I just want to leave that fairly secret for me, just as a personal preference. I've only watched a couple playthrough videos, but I knew that this game looked good. Put that away, back in there. Um, we'll take these out now. And there's just so many things going on. So now we're reaching the second stage of this box and um, there's only more to explore. So, ooh. And now we're getting to the characters. So there are four characters that come with the core game of Too Many Bones. Again, PVC rule sheets. I feel like they could have saved a lot of money and made this game cheaper by going cardboard, but I mean, making a game that's completely waterproof is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. And let's cut this up. And now we are in. You know, I'm being so careful not to damage it or nick the sides or anything like that, which I just did actually, but this game feels very tough at the same time. All right, here we go. Snap. And we are in, oh, okay, so here we go. These are the basic rule cards. These look very heavy duty. These look very complex from first glance. Here we have Boomer. There's so many different icons you need to understand, but I mean, they're visual visual references. So I feel like I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. So there's a lot of uh, 
rules obviously in this game but i feel like with the quality of the rule book and this additional reference sheet there's plenty of material to help you learn the game or at least learn as you go so that's what i'm hoping for anyway and now the actual characters themselves and oh man just look at that just you can bend them you can fold them you can do anything you want with them you can use them as a mouse pad at work or whatever you actually want so let's go ahead and open these girls and boys up Let's go ahead and work with our exacto knife of choice and just split it right down the middle. Alright. Rip that open. Wow. Ooh, they feel even better in your hands. Like, so nice. Um, so here we have Boomer. Oh, smells so good here. Take a sniff. I, I really understand why people talk about getting the weighted chips for the better feeling of playing this game. I totally get it now. This game is just is just luxurious. It just feels nice. Um, you can feel like the textures on the back. It's unlike any game that I've ever bought in my whole life. So that's not just high praise, that's just how I feel right now. And I love the art. The art actually translated really well to these mattress pads or uh, mouse pads. And I love the cuts. There's no errors or flaws in any of them. And it just, oh man, it just screams out to be played as soon as possible. We have Tantrum. This one's t personally my favorite next to Duster and uh, Minstrel uh, Triple Clef. Tantrum just looks really cute in general. Rage, 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 and Anger Management. <laughs> so like a lot of cool things going on there with Tantrum. Love it. Again, the quality is so good. Patches, our medical doctor, doesn't really speak to me, but perhaps I'm gonna have to try out all these characters and you know, that's just part of the game is playing each character. I didn't go for any of the bonus characters because I just wanted to get a feel of the basic ones because four characters is already a lot, I felt in my opinion. So that's Pat or Picket, who has an, a multi-pronged hydraulic shield right there. Looks like it's served him well, there's an arrow and you know, everything just looks so good. Some of these skill names are just really funny. Gobby Jerky, Orcish Ale, it's just, <laughs> the creativity is off the charts right here. And finally, of course, we have our combat board, which is a super simplistic boiled down version of your typical D&D grid movement or hexagonal grid. Just really cool how they do that. And, um, you know, you still get the same effect. You get to use your characters in their fullest potential, regardless of the simplified combat space. Really cool. Glad that to see that innovation on an already massive game. And so now we really don't have much left other than these final chips. And now I get to finally see if I really have missed out on the premium chips, if these light chips just aren't as satisfying. But knowing me, I think I'll just be fine with whatever I get. So here we go. Oh wow, these are heavy. These are, these feel like a, a roll of quarters right here. Here we have the day counter at the very top. Let me zoom in for you. And um, we have the day counter at the top and these are, whew. They've got some serious heft to them, so let's go ahead and open these up. These are the baddies or the monsters. I'm just going to slip my X-Acto blade under here and cut up. Oh my goodness. So our first monster is, oh wow, I love these too. These have a good amount of heft to them too. Wow, you can really notice the, the weight. That's actually really surprising. So that's an orc rager. Let's go ahead and get them all out. We got that one. So these are the level one baddies and these are level five ones. And then we have these ones. Um, I'm not really sure what these ones are. Oh, level 20 baddies. So these are the actual uh, tyrants. So a little, let's get a little nick on them. There you go. There you go, just a quick pull down. That's all it takes. You don't need to be too methodical like me. There we go. Beautiful, really excellent. Um, I love the heft. Not really sure what these are. What are these? Oh, these are actual characters on their chips. Very cool. Nice, nice feeling to them, for sure. I do enjoy that. I really do enjoy that. So it's a lot of encounters, a lot of monsters, a lot of bosses. There's a lot already in here. I'm kind of glad I didn't get the expansions for the first time around. But uh, all right, let's move on to these premium health chips. And these are by far the lightest chips of the entire game, which is surprising. I'm surprised that they didn't just go all out and make these all the same weight but you can definitely feel the weight difference of this versus this even. Just like a total, maybe like three gram difference, I guess, which isn't really that much at all. So, so far this game has just been kind of a buffet for my tactile senses so far. Yeah, I don't know. I still don't regret not getting the premium health chips. Like everything else is just already feels incredibly good so far. And I guess you can just 
shuffle some of the chips over here so it doesn't it's not too tight which is also very nice now everything moves around all the chips are good and that is the complete unboxing i don't know if there's any surprises down here but nope and that is it that is the entire entire game of too many bones all that's left is to learn those rules and figure out how this game actually plays now and let me know in the comments who should i play as i think i'm gonna do definitely two two gear locks definitely two gear locks um i really like tantrum and i feel like a picket patches or boomer would be a good pairing right there maybe a girl and a boy so i definitely want to try out boomer i mean she's a little bit more complex but i think i can learn it and might as well learn it with all of you watching and helping me out so let's go ahead and put everything back in the box Ooh, there's a little warpage actually in here right here on the corner where the glue is starting to come off a little bit so it's a little bit loose right there but other than that everything is spick and span i think that is the only blemish i've seen in this entire game and that is really inconsequential so far, I am incredibly satisfied with what I received so far. I'm going to go ahead and put these back in as well. I'm incredibly impressed with the quality, with the weight, the feel. It's like buying a new car. That's almost what it feels like right now. So, no complaints. 10 out of 10. Wait till I actually play it. Um, that's the ultimate purpose of these games, after all. Absolutely wonderful, and the setup and teardown just felt really fast. Even though I was taking my time opening up this box and like going through each component, like this this game is a dream, and that's what the creators intended for is to create a game that you could set up, take down incredibly easily. So this was a too many bones unboxing. I think we're gonna go ahead and do Undertow in a separate video at a later point. Um, I think that's enough unboxing for today, and I just don't want to spoil this for me yet, so I'm gonna just put it back in my closet for now and just jump into Too Many Bones the main campaign, and then we'll finally unlock this at a later date, perhaps for my birthday, who knows? So, thank you for sticking around, and a huge shout out to my three patrons, Rybot Gabriel, and now Taylor, for joining the inner circle of Wait Your Turn and becoming the first major contributor to the channel on Patreon. So thank you for joining us on our unboxing today of Too Many Bones. I'm Jordan. This is Wait Your Turn. If you enjoy these kinds of videos and you just like the ASMR sound of plastic crinkling as I rip it off these boxes, don't forget to like and comment down below of what you'd like to see on the channel. If you want to support the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out my Patreon down below. So thank you for sticking around. Thank you for waiting your turn. And now it's your turn. Okay. Till next time. He Too many bones. Oh my.